Not a spring check. And today we're going to be talking about... How the more liberal the government, the more conservative it actually is when it comes to media. What? The more liberal the government is, the more conservative? Well, yes, because unlike when conservatives are in charge, and the conservatives uh, basically are, are moralistic about things, the liberals need to control the media in order to stay in power. So by controlling the media, liberals who you think would be liberal are actually more controlling? They're more conservative because they'll, uh, because they can't, uh, a liberal mm -hmm. government cannot afford people to be free thinkers. That almost sounds like an oxymoron. Well, it is because, um, here's the thing is, true liberals believe in, in, um, in dialogue. The liberals that are currently in existence in the day in most countries believe in control because control is the only way that they, they stay, you know. Like they, they blame it all, they said, well, conservatives. No, conservatives only are more, conservatives are got off and moralistic, but they don't want the media control. They just want you to stop, you know, they think that you shouldn't put, you know, uh, in their opinion, trash, whereas a liberal of the, of the modern persuasion doesn't want to have anything that might be um, uh, might be differential to them or their cause. Well, and part of it is, if you look at what's happened in the past, control of the media is usually what happens when a government is overtaken. And, you know, that's what happens what, with communist empires and things like that. They control the media. That's right, and it's the only way they can stay in office. Uh, the, the instance like liberals are, will bitch because there's an opposition, mm. whereas conservatives need opposition to thrive. A liberal thinks that opposition is bad. So. Well, why do conservatives need an opposition to thrive? Because the, if, uh, if they don't have opposition, they have nothing to complain about. Oh. You need, they, they said that um, you know, look at television and radio, you'll see that conservatives might, that they're, they occupy it just a little tiny, here's, the, here's the, the liberal media, here's the conservative down here. The people up here are terrified of the people down here because in order to survive, they need the people up here to continue to attack them. So uh, what they, then that's what they'll do. They can't, the people up here do not want these people at all so that they don't exist and they control, there is no, Opposition. Oh, so that's why, like Rush Limbaugh, when he gets attacked by the president, he becomes even more popular. Oh yeah, the more popular, like they uh, they said, the uh, liberals' idea is that we will take our money, put it into an area where conservatives are, and then we will destroy the local the the local conservative media because people will flock to our message versus theirs. Right now, they're they're pissed off in the south southern states over uh, Mayor Bloomberg's multi-million dollar campaign to remove people from office that don't support his ideas of gun control. The Democrats are now running spots for re-election as badges of honor that they are being attacked because of their conservative principles. <laughs> so uh, what happened was is that uh, the, the, the left will try to buy every minute of time that they can get their hands on. Um, this is why, for instance, Republicans put up uh, McCain and Romney when they should have put up somebody that could win an election because the people on the left have 90% of the money-making machine because they control 95% of the media and the people on the right need to make money in order to be competitive but the idea is that the people on the right forgot mm -hmm. that even though you don't have as much control as the media as you need that if you don't run a candidate can win he's never it doesn't make any difference how much money you have and Romney out, outraged um, Obama uh, it didn't make any difference, but um, well, is a lot of the, a lot of the reason that this is in the news is because of Eric Holder and what's going on with the media and his secret meetings and yeah. AP and all that. Oh yeah, well AP and those people didn't come. Those people that he's attacking, you know, he sat there. I pledge allegiance to the fact that I'm never going to do this again. And you can believe everything that I have just told. Well, basically, here's the rule of thumb: is that uh, why Bill Clinton can never be a lawyer again is because Bill Clinton. Uh, was found guilty of, of, um, of lying under oath. If once you've committed perjury, you no longer can be, the testimony can be trusted. They all know that Eric Holder has lied under oath, but they're, they're Democrats basically, well, we can't have this. It will hurt, you know, the, uh, the media. So the media goes into the tank, except for those people that have been directly attacked and say that, um, that 
You know, well, he just misled, and there's a difference between misleading and lying. You know, it's the very same thing. Bill Clinton misled, and he eventually lost his law license because they called the, when it got to the Judicial Review Board, they called that perjury. Mm. And uh, when you're the top lawyer in the country, and you tell the people that you're attacking, well, I'm not going to do this again. And why? It, it had to do with the government needs control of the media to make everything function, because. If, you, if the, for instance, if the people, the, the people would have known that the, how large a scope the IRS thing is, oh. then you, do you think that that would have been a big, that would have, that he, uh, he would have never won the election. If the, the, the media has to be in bed with the liberal government, the media is never in bed with the conservative government, never. Mm -hmm. Because it, it has to do with the fact that, uh, that the, that while the conservative side doesn't really care about news, it cares about content. They first, well, you didn't have to show that person be having the hell beat out of when a person beheaded. Whereas the people on the left <clears throat> want to show that because therefore it, it, it's called desensitizing the public. Mm -hmm. But um, it, it's a difference in philosophy. A true, it's just like on my Facebook thing, I actually got rid of everybody on my Facebook that wasn't a liberal liberal. Because I got tired of them telling me, I mean, I got rid of another one last night because they said, well, they picked up a thing from one of the people that went to Holder's deal saying that Holder, Holder told them that, uh, that it was nothing but a conservative effort to take control of the media. And that nothing, that there's no truth to anything they're saying. Well, that's not what Holder said. Mm -hmm. Not what he said whatsoever. And, uh, but uh, that this is what, in order to stay in power, though, the people on the current left have to, you know, basically have to deny you. Well, was it? One person said they've got the first, second, fifth, tenth, eleventh, thirteenth amendment. The constitutions are suspended in uh, for national security. And oh, and, is that what it is? And who decides if it's a national security issue? The people that are controlling mm -hmm. the media. Mm -hmm. And um, that because I grew up, I grew up in an era when the. The Nazis were taking control. I grew up in the era when the, when the communists were taking control. The first thing that the Nazis and the uh, and the socialists and the communists all did was come in and nationalize the media, so that there were and anybody that basically was in opposition to them simply either fled for their lives or they mm -hmm. got wiped out. So um, conservatives, right with media thrives on competition. Without competition, no one would pay attention to anything they said. You think that if Thomas Bain, Thomas Paine, who wrote the 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 you know the pamphlet Firebrand of the Revolutionary War, had not had an opposition to what he was saying, he would have became famous. Who no. is he? Thomas Paine. <laughs> what I say now? He wrote the he, he was a firebrand that helped push the revolutionaries' cause against England around the world. Do you do you think that um, Martin Luther? Who was a who actually was a, he, you know he wrote his encyclical he, you know he wrote books and books and books if the Catholic Church had not been attacking his his writings do you think that he'd have ever been known he needs mm -hmm. the right needs to be attacked by the left the left does not want to be attacked period mm -hmm. so you end up with more censorship you'll find that, that okay the left supports gay rights. Who controls most of the media in this country? The left. Uh, how often do you? How many people that we have that are friends and that are gay? That a lot. A lot. How many? Of, and and basically, how often are they working anymore? Well, part of it is if they are openly gay, it's a little bit more difficult. And that's right. If they're not openly gay, then it's all right. How, how about if, gay, if they're actors? How about gay journalists that we know? What? They're not working either. They're openly gay and they have a hell of a hard time getting work mm -hmm. because that's not the type of people that the people on the left want to have in front of cameras because they have a cause and the left doesn't actually want, the left wants issues. They don't want to support causes. Mm -hmm. So, but, um, whereas the people on the right need gay rights in order to have something to stand up against. Oh, that's like good and evil. You need evil to no good. That's right. And vice versa. That's right. Without evil, there can be no good, and it's the same thing. If, here's the thing: is what is peace? 
Peace is the time between wars. Mm -hmm. If there was no war, there would never be peace. Mm -hmm. That was the way it is. Without it's yin and yang. They're basically it's Chinese. Yin and, yang. yin and yang. Basically, one side, the good side, cannot exist without the bad side. But the bad side can always exist without the good side, because they tell you what what they, uh, the bad side specifically tells you. This is what it is, and you should believe what I mean, we that, say. That's like some of those organizations where the people are free to about do what they want and look like crazies because yeah. they have their own people around them to make yeah. certain that right. nothing happens. And, um, and, and, and so it's just, it is, censorship is prevalent, prevalent around the left more than the right. And it's because, not just for school books. No, it's not in school books. Okay, here's a really mean thing that I, I grew up when we, we had textbooks that were this thick telling about the American history up to the, actually American history up until that my, my, my history stopped at the Korean War, folks, <laughs> because that's when I was no longer doing school. But, uh, but what happened is, is that the people on the left expunge the whole first part of our country history because it's racist. And then they start after, uh, they start at the, after the Civil War with the Civil Rights Movement. That's when they, their history starts in our country. No, American history goes back to the time now, history now should be going back to when the Vikings first came to this country. It should be hitting when the, when the French came, the, Ch the Spanish. It should be doing when the Russians came and the Chinese came from their countries across the ice. That doesn't exist anymore. In areas that the left control, you get history that is from their point of view forward and nothing else. What the right wants is history that goes back and tells about the entire, you know, you're, you're here to get you're more likely to get a well-rounded education under the right than you are the left because the left basically throws out 200 years of history. The Civil War, the Revolutionary War did not exist due to the Civil War. It starts from the Civil Rights Movement. Mm -hmm. They ignore it. Um, they, they ignore anything that they don't want people to hear. Whereas, the, the, here's the thing, the right believes in a more pastoral time and that what you do is you go back, you have to get to pastoral title, you gotta go back to when the pilgrims come to the country. Hmm. Because that had to do with religious freedom. Well, and it's all, what is it, the, the grass is always greener on the other side, right? Yeah, mostly what the right, right wants to preach has never existed, never. What the left wants to preach is their view, version of what things should have been, and I mean, they don't, it's not, they rewrite history. History goes to the victors. As long as they control the school systems, you'll always see history from the left slant, which is always people on the right are evil. Uh, if you're white, you're evil. If you're not gay, you're evil. Well, so. I mean, we've been talking a lot about censorship what, um, and its control, whether liberal or conservative, right? Yep. But part of it is censorship does exist in the media, regardless of whether it's left or right because of advertisers. Yep. Because for them to sustain themselves, they the media outlets here in the United States require advertising dollars. Or yep. They require some money to keep them running. To do that, for example, magazines do this, television stations do this, um, where they may tend to overlook things from their major advertisers. Yep. Or they may, well, may be getting more press time. Yeah, but it is, the, it is not the right that has the control on the, on the advertisers as mm -hmm. much as it is the left. Here's a few of an oxymoron. Uh, in the, who was in charge of, um, of the country during the Roaring Twenties? I don't know. Wasn't the left. Oh. Who was in charge of the heyday of the film industry? When was that? The, the, <laughs> yeah, no, it wasn't the left. Okay. Who was in charge when California uh, was at its, its best vacation, you know, come to the beaches when the girls were wearing all, you know, suntans and wearing tiny bikinis and you could go out on the beach and, and wear just about whatever you want? It wasn't the left. Uh, Who gave us the Civil Rights Movement? It wasn't uh, the left. Who gave us the American with Disabilities Act? It wasn't the left. Who gave us the Voting Rights Act? It wasn't the left. Well, didn't the left do anything good? The left basically has spent its life trying to prevent things from happening. The, 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 no, the, but that is, here is the thing. Who were the writers of our Constitution and Declaration of Independence? They were true liberals. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the people that the left hate the most in this country were the most liberal thinkers our nation has ever produced. Who embraces 
the liberals that wrote the Constitution and Declaration of Independence. Probably the conservatives. The, the, the right praises them for everything they did. Uh, so um, that's the whole thing. The, le the left thrives on control. The right thrives on diversity, which is the most funny thing in the universe. But that's how it works in the whole it's way. It's worked for a long time. So we know we get hit, hit by this every day. I mean, for instance, we get hit by digital rights management, which is a beaut. I always love it. We got hit by digital rights management last week on Amazing Grace. <laughs> With how great thou art. The song is over 300 years old. Mm -hmm. And we got hit with a digital rights management complaint for a song 300 years old. And how many times have I written pieces of music that, well, we're doing a third party digital rights claim in behalf of the writer of this I music. I wrote the music, folks. <laughs> yeah, but they do it. I know people that basically are so pissed off at this government, the way the government's being ran, that one guy basically, he's been, I know a guy that is, I worked on his music videos, I worked behind him in movies, he writes his own music, and he routinely, every time he puts a new, writes a new piece of song, they take his website down, because a digital rights claim has been filed mm -hmm. against you, for a, for a third party complaint that you don't have the rights to do, you haven't got, I wrote the goddamn music, it's my music, it's my publishing company. I own the website, and they follow, you know, and just because you own the website doesn't mean, because we, we own our website, and we get, we, we hit it again this last week, mm -hmm. the, the, the website owner bowing to the, pra the people that provide the uh, space to us, that we buy from them, basically pull, pushed a switch and changed our website on us, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, without even notifying us that they were mm -hmm. doing it, because they were censoring us. So, on a spot that can't be censored. We, we pay for not being censored, and yet we got censored because they just they just twisted our, our um, HTML a little bit and took part of change, our... They change it. They changed it by simply doing, uh, at the place, they just simply, because they can hack it legitimately, they simply pulled out a piece I of our... I love how you say it, they can hack it legitimately. Well, because they own... Okay, here's the work. When you bitch up a storm about YouTube or any of these sites, you have to remember they own the sandbox. Right. You may all you do is lease the sand if you're own like we do. We have multiple sites across multiple systems. We lease the sand on the sites we paid for, but on YouTube they own the sandbox and the sand. Mm -hmm. If they want to change the rules, which they did on us last week, mm -hmm. I mean we, we, we routinely when we get up to a certain point, we know that they got every August they're gonna take out half our videos. So, yeah, they, they do that to everybody. Oh, well, what will happen is in the first, August, they will move two or three hundred million videos off their system because it costs them money. But they own it. So, that's how it works. When you own it, you make the rules and people agree to it. But, um, you know, our thing on censorship is never ending battle. I mean, every few months, we do a thing on censorship. You know, so we, 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 we do know that viral video is on its way out. Uh, actually, tell me that one. This is where viral video is going to be. This is, this is, but that's the note? Yeah. Okay. This is where viral video is going to end up on, where you can send it from person to person. And it's going to be off the, um, you know, YouTube basically uh, could never make the grand experiment work. Daily Motion could never make it work. Crack or MSN soap box, they all gave up because the cost of maintaining the sites are prohibitive and there's never been any way they can make money. But there's always been a way to make money, but they don't want to do it because it's the same way that I worked in the early days of television. Um, I can show you. But this is this is how. They, let me tell you. This is how they managed to figure out how to capitalize television. Where I'm, I was actually there with a local station when they basically somebody has a half-assed joke. They threw a can of dog food across the stage, and the guy caught it with one hand, and he said, "You know." I use this dog food every day for my dog, and my dog really likes this. And then he goes, and brought to you by such and such company. That is how they found out how to fund television, which the movie people said could never be funded. It was instantaneous live commercials. And they thought it was funny, so they start throwing things, you know, when uh, they'd have a, you know, like a can of beer, it'd come across the sky, and the guy would go grab it like that. I'm brought to you today by Hams. The land of enchantment, and and they would do they toss sick they catch him with his uh, with his cigarettes and oh they'd be like this oh I didn't know we were on 
This is what they did all over the United States in stations, every, every community across the United States. They simply created commercials. Once they saw that happening, the people that owned, you know, like the products, okay, like this is Herbie Daddy. The people that would make Herbie Daddy would go to a commercial agency. Can you make us a commercial that would bring, in us, bring us in ten times more views than the guy doing it live? Oh, yeah, we'll make it funny. So they'd make up a commercial. And then you built a whole industry in a thing that said can't be done. This, this is the industry of the future. It, right now, it's uncensorable. It will be censorable. According to the, uh, the President of the United States wants Congress of the United States to give him control of the Internet. Once the left has control of the Internet, the Internet will just be shut down, folks. That's the way it works. So, yeah, so until next time, this is Ocam. And this is Nava Spring. Check over here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And for more information, you can go to www.mbn.newsvideoweb on the net. mbnnewsvideoweb.com. Newsvideoweb.com. It's, it's moneybubbles.net is, is the big site. Which is undergoing change is continuing. I know, on. keep tuning in. So wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D, and come, of course, like us on Facebook under Monty Bubbles Network, or follow us on Twitter at Monty Bubbles. Thank you once again for over hundreds and hundreds of millions of links on the